Today we will discuss earthworm reproductive system. So as we know the earthworm or hermaphrodites means their body has two gametes the testes and ovaries they are monoecious or hermaphrodites they are having both the gametes now let us see the male reproductive system then we'll see the female reproductive system then later we'll see the how copula copulation will happen male reproductive system so in male reproductive system they have two pairs of testes testes in their body so having two pairs of uh, reproductive system uh, reproductive organs we call it called as di delphic di delphic di delphic reproductive organs so these testes are a 10th and 11th segment we draw this Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So one pair of the testes they attaches to the septa, septum, and there will be finger-like reductions. They attaches to the septa with the stalks. so the one pair of testes at the ten segment and they attaches at the 9 and 10 segment okay and the second pair also they attaches to the the segment with the stalk and there will be finger like projections at the 10th and 11th segment the one pair are present in the 10th segment and one pair at the 11th segment but 10th segment testes are attached here at the junction of the 9th and 10th segment and uh, 11th uh, one pair of the testes are attached to the segment of the 10th and 11th segment they are called the testes and these testes are located in a sac located in a sac which is filled with a fluid
so these sacs are called as testicular sacs testicular sacs so these sacs are present at the 10th and 11th segments and these sacs are filled with the fluid so from the testicular sacs there is a funnel like structures funnel like structure they collect the semen from the testis and it has a cilia cilial epithelium also this funnels these are called the seminal funnels seminal funnels and seminal funnels are two pairs with cilial epithelium they collect the semen and there are two glands there are two glands which is called as seminal seminal vesicles seminal vesicles which are present at the level and the 12th one these are the glands okay which is present at the 11th and 12th and 11 uh, seminal vesicles are smaller than the 12th segment uh, seminal vesicles okay they are comparatively larger at uh, 12th segment uh, seminal vesicles these are seminal vesicles so from the seminal funnel so there is a duct i don't know why it is okay from the seminal funnel the vessel which is attaches to the 11th segment seminal vesicule the semen which are whatever come uh, collected by the seminal funnel and that will mature in the seminal vesicule then it goes down And the same like this here also, it attaches here. Okay, and here so this duct which is coming from the uh, seminal funnel then it reaches to the seminal vesicles and we call it as uh, 
vas a diferenciar vas a diferenciar so semen which is produced by the testes so which is collects from the seminal funnel and then it reaches to the seminal vesicule in the seminal vesicule it matures and then it goes down down by the vasa differentia and please remember the location of the testis and where it is attaches and the testicular sacs and the glands which are seminal vesicles location and the vasa differentia from where to where now let us assume this is because the board is not sufficient so i am making this 16 segment seventeen, eighteen, nine. from 16 to 19 there is a glands or 17 to 20 16 to 19 or 17 to 20 there is a glands called prostate gland prostate gland okay Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So the vasa differentia, which is coming from the upper, they attaches at the eighteen segment to the prostate. We are also saying. so in the prostate gland and the sperm cells are fully matures and these semen comes out with the pore at the 18th segment which is we call as male genital pore genital pore okay so there is two genital pores on the lateral side at the 18 segment the so semen which is produced uh, from the testis at the 10th segment it's collect from this uh, seminal funnel and through the vasa differentia it reaches to the prostate gland there it fully matures and it comes out Uh, from the 18th segment okay there are two one pair of the genital pores at the 18th segment there are two pairs of accessory glands at the 18th segment uh, sorry 17th and 19th segment these accessory glands accessory glands at 17 and 19 secretes certain secretions so these secretions are helpful in the copulation process okay, to hold the other worm for the copulation so which are there in the 17 and 19 segment so this is all about the male reproduction system so testis Uh, two pairs of testes one pair at the 10th segment and one pair at 11th segment they attaches to the 9th and 10th segment and second pair is attaches to the 10th and 11th segment so there is a finger like projections and these are located in the testicular sacs which is filled with the fluid the semen which is coming from the testes collected in the seminal fluid 
and it matures in the seminal vesicles and comes down with the vasa differentia and then it finally matures in the a uh, prostate gland and then it comes out with the male genital pore and there are two pairs of accessory uh, glands they produce certain secretions for the copulation process this is all about the male reproduction system let us see the female reproduction system A female reproduction system. So they have only one pair of ovaries. A thirteen segment. This is 13 segment and this is 14 segment. So these are, this is 12 segment for example. So they have a finger like this thing. And they also attach the septal region. Only one pair. Okay. And they are in 13 segment, they attach as 12 and 13. And if you see the magnifies these ovaries, so they have a multiple stages of the eggs. Some eggs are maybe big and some eggs are maybe small. So if you if you see the we can see all the different stages of the eggs in the ovaries. And these eggs are collected by the funnel, like seminal funnel in the male reproductive system. So they also have a funnel, which is called as OV funnel. So eggs are collected in the OV funnel. And these is the OV duct. They opens into 14 segment. This is called oviduct, and they opens into 14 segment, with, which is called as female genital pore. So, as compared to the male reproductive system, female reproductive system is very simple. So, they have a one pair of the ovaries and the excel connects with the OV funnel and comes out uh, from the genital pore, a single opening at the 14 segment through OV duct. Okay. Now let us see the copulation process. We already seen the uh, spermatotheca when we study the morphology. Now let us see the population process. Population. So population process. See, before understanding this population process, let me draw the 
bonds. So the two arms will participate in the sexual intercourse. Suppose this is a worm A. Worm A. So I am drawing the necessary segments. seven eight nine segments so as you know in, if you see the lateral view there is the balloon like structure which is called as spermatheca so they are in six seven eight nine segments four pairs of balloon like structures and their openings are at fifth six Six, seven, seven, eight, and eight, nine. These are called the spermatotheca. Spermatotheca, and these are the spermatotheal pore. Okay. The spermatotheca's are at six, seven, eight, nine. The pores are at five by six, six by seven, seven by eight, and eight by nine. Okay, this is worm A. And another worm, if I draw like this, so mating is a juxta matter. So the worms are you no know, copulate like this. Okay, if you see the one worm like this, and another worm is alternate direction, they copulate like this. Okay. I am drawing directly the 18th segment and this is 17 and this is a 19th segment. With the help of this uh, papillae, the holes the other uh, a worm and through the male genital pores, male genital pores, male genital pores, the sperm is releases into the nine. Okay. The spermatothecal pore, the sperm is releases into the spermatotheca through spermatothecal pore. See, for example, it is like this. This is worm A and this is worm B. Okay. In the 18th segment, to 18th segment, the semen is released into uh, the ninth segment, ninth segment spermatotheca. Then worm moves like this. So then again it shifts into eighth segment, then seventh segment, then sixth segment. So it fills. So all the spermatotheca are filled with the Semen by the genital disc. Now the worm A, worm A, spermatotheca filled with B worm semen.
this is warm a but they have a sperm sense of warm a sorry warm b okay now the 13 this is 14 and 15 segment in the 14th region there is a female genital opening through this female genital opening the ovaries will release at the same time there is also mucus also releases so when ovaries are released and mucus is released the clitellum loosens okay clitellum loosens and it comes backward Okay, it comes backward. So, moment clitellum comes backward, it also carries the X from the uh, X through the clitellum, and it goes on the nine, eight, seven, six uh, segments. The warm go, uh, goes back, and clitellum comes back. so when clitellum comes back the x also rubs on the uh, this spermatothecal pores okay now the sperms and the x comes out and clitellum comes out from the warm a and these are having x of x of warm a and b all they have a box sperms of warm b okay even though the earthworms are hermaphrodites the cross fertilization will happen the the gametes of the two different uh, individuals will take place uh, fertilization takes place okay you see the x of the worm a and the the sperms of the worm b okay now what happened so after this the clitellum closes closes it and this is we call it as cocoon so the zygote will form so we, we call it as utica the clitellum coming up out and forming a cocoon like structure we call it as utica from with after fertilization or after zygote formation the cocoons open out a new individual tiny tiny earthworms will come out okay and these earthworms are protandrous because the male male gametes uh, mature first when compared to the female gametes okay this is all about the copulation fertilization and the development so there is a direct development there is no larval stages so copulation is very simple so they move alternate side so from the male uh, male genital pore the semen is uh, released in the spermatotheca uh, and the, from the female uh, genital opening the x are released in the clitellum at the same time mucus also releases clitellum comes back side a uh, front side and worm uh, moves backward and the it mixes with the uh, sperm cells and the clitellum comes out which is having the both the uh, eggs of the worm a and the uh, sperm cells of the worm b and fertilization takes place external fertilization and cross fertilization and after maturation uh, after zygote formation 
the tiny earthworms comes out so this is all about the reproductive system of earthworm